So I have talked about color grading before on Shotcut, but today I want to show you a easier process that you guys can achieve any look on your videos just by using these simple LUT packs. So let's get started. So the first thing we have to do is get some LUT packs. Now it's a good thing that you can find these packs for free online, either on YouTube where many people upload videos and free download links to LUT packs that they have created, which is a really cool thing, or you guys can search on Google and go onto any website that offers free LUT pack download links. Now in this case, I'm just using this website because it has the basic color packs that I would use in a video if I was a filmmaker or any content creator, and it goes into depth in explaining what LUT packs are and how you guys can download these packs exactly by using the download link that they provide. Now it's basically pretty simple from this stage forward. All you have to do is download it, extract it, and save it to a folder that you know you can find them later on. But that's a pretty easy way that you guys can use to find any love packs that you may be looking for, especially if you have a certain look that you're trying to go for any video. So as you can see, we're on Shotcut already and I already have loaded up the video clip that I'm going to be using for today's example. Now the first thing you want to do is select the video clip itself and then after that just go to filters and go to the video tab or you can just type Type in LUT and then a LUT 3D effect should appear and all you have to do is just click on that and go to open and a new window file should open up and from this point all you have to do is just look for the file where you saved your LUT packs in the beginning and I already have mine pulled up right here. So as you can see it gives us eight different types of LUT packs that we can use and right now I'm just going to pick a random one and just click open and as you can see the LUT pack has been implemented onto your video and basically you can go to the LUT icon and check and uncheck that box so you can see the difference between the normal video and the LUT that you just implemented on it. From here, you can also switch up any settings that you want to mess around with, such as the interpolation. Now they have three options, but I found that the default option is the smoothest one, so I'm just gonna leave it at that. Now, if you guys wanna keep exploring different LUT packs, you can just go back to open and click on different packs that you might wanna see. So for example, this one is just much more a cooler tone and it looks pretty nice, but you guys can mess around with any looks that you guys might want to use for your video. So as you can see, we have successfully downloaded a LUT pack and implemented on a video track. Now, however, there are some different things that you guys can do with lot packs when you're editing different sequences. So I'm gonna show you that real quick. So let's say that you have a timeline track and you have multiple different video clips. Now for today's video, I just took the same video clip and just split it into three different parts just to get my point across. Now, whenever you have multiple video clips on one track, it may be a little bit tricky to add any lot packs to all three of them. For example, if I click on the first clip and go to filters and try to add a lot pack like we did before you guys can see that the LUT pack has actually added itself to the clip that we have chosen and we can mess around with it like we did before but if we go to the second video clip segment you can see that the color is not the same since the LUT pack has only implemented it on the first clip that we have selected so if you guys have multiple clips on one track one easy solution that you guys can do is first of all let's remove the LUT pack from the first clip and then we are just gonna select the first v1 video track that we can see here in the output segment of our first video track like you see right here and then we're just going to do exactly the same thing we're going to go to filters search for lot and add the lot pack that you guys were planning to use in the first place and as you can see if we move around all three segments of each clip you can see that the lot pack has added itself to the entirety of the video track you guys can turn it on and off like we did before instead of adding a lot pack on each individual clip you guys can add it to the whole track instead however you guys can turn around and use the different segments of the video as an advantage so if we just go back and just remove the whole lot pack entirely from the track and just choose each separate clip, you guys can go back and add a different lot pack to each individual clip if that's what you want to do and just explore which fuel you would like to use when you're comparing and contrasting each lot pack. But you guys can explore and add these different lot packs to either each individual clip or the whole track instead. So there you have it, a fast and easy way that you guys can use to give your video a different look by using lot packs. Now you guys can also use color grading which gives you more control over the look of your video but having LUT packs and using them is really helpful especially if people are providing it for you or if you want a specific look on your video that you've seen elsewhere but that is the simple process of finding LUT packs downloading them and adding them onto your videos by using Shotcut now that's pretty much it for today's video however if you're looking for more tutorials on Shotcut and get better at video editing well this is the channel for you I have many other videos going over tutorials on Shotcut as well as video editing in general. So if you guys want to check that out, well, the channel's here for you. But that's pretty much it for today's video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.